Today's event marks 33 years since Mr. Clark announced the new constitutional democracy that we now live in today. Look, I mean, I think today's event was, was important because it, it, it brought a focus to the importance of uh, the constitution in South Africa's democracy. To me, the real threat to the constitution of South Africa today is the massive unemployment and poverty we have in this country. Top 10 threats to human rights is the unsustainable conditions of poverty, inequality, unemployment, load shedding, violent crime and declining social, educational and health services that constitute the lived daily experience of a majority of South Africans. These people deserve a South Africa that fights for them too. The decision to make nuclear weapons was taken before I became a member of the cabinet. I was shocked when I heard about it. I never liked the idea. This is the 30th anniversary of the announcement of South Africa to eliminate its nuclear arsenal. Today's conference on property rights is part of an emotionally charged political debate that will define South Africa's ability to become a better country. But it's also a recognition of your fundamental human rights. Property rights are human rights after all. And this essentially is what this conference is discussing today. How to promote property rights, but also how to defend property rights against the malicious actors. Everybody needs to work together in one single united direction in legislative policy that is cohesive so that we can achieve the goals. In this episode, we're going to deal with F.W. de Klerk and South Africa's international relations. This is the second memorial lecture and it will be delivered by Professor Chet Crocker. The time has passed for visiting Americans to give sermons because South Africans are shaping their own destiny. So the link here is FW's ability to make things possible. On the 15th of October, 1993, FW Leclerc received a telephone call from the Norwegian Broadcasting Corporation, informing him that he had won the Nobel Peace Prize. Thank you to all the viewers, and I trust that we will build a wide network of people that share the same values and the same ideals and other custodianship of the FW Clark Foundation and in collaboration with other like-minded organizations, we can change the fortunes of South Africa and all of its people.